Hey everyone, I am in an awesome mood and I'm so excited for this pour. Um, my mood may be really, really good. I have been, um, well, to start with, I have had nobody home today. Husband and son went to a football game. I've had nobody home. So I turned on music and I painted some ceilings upstairs and my bedroom. And so I've had, so I've probably been painting for, it's now almost seven and I've been painting, uh, I think since 11. Um, and now I'm gonna do some more. So I, um, so my shoulder and my back hurt. Um, <laughs> But uh, the rest of me feels really good, and it's kind of been a you know rough week. So it today has been just a little piece of heaven for me, which is nice. And also, it's amazing what a clean white ceiling is. A ceiling, you know, think about a ceiling. But oh my gosh, I mean, I've lived here 15 years. I've never painted the bathroom ceiling. I'm in there taking a shower today after, you know, to wash off my whole head of paint. And I look up and I'm like, oh my God, it's gorgeous. So anywho, as I said, I'm a little excited. Um, uh, ba -ba -da -ba. So anywho, I'm doing a negative pour, but no white. This is, it's called, I, I've been to the paint store a lot. This is been, well, it, painted over it. It is Benjamin Moore Scuff X, which is, um, I swear I'm not a spokesperson, but he showed me at the store, you can, he like scraped it all up and nothing shows. Um, and I love Benjamin Moore for my wall paints. They're the only ones I use. So this is Timberwolf and it looked awful in my room. So I am going to make a painting from it. Um, it looks like a really pretty gray here, but on my bedroom walls with the lighting up there, it looked blue. And I accidentally, I was gonna, the bathroom I was painting kind of a silvery white. And while I'm talking, I'm going to make my flip cup for my flip and drag. I mixed this with Floetrol and water. Um, this paint ended up being so much runnier than the Dutch Boy. The Dutch Boy is very, very thick paint. So this I started to thin out like I do my Dutch Boy and um, made it way too watery. So that this is a lot of you say I can't find Dutch Boy. Um, what others can I use? So now um, don't take my advice when I talk about how I mix it with what percentage of Floetrol water because that I now know is specific to the Dutch Boy because that is super thick. This required much less water because I put in the normal amount of Floetrol that I would and it was already really runny. So, um, so know your paint. Uh, okay, so hold on. I'm a little scattered. I did take something for my back though, so that could be why I'm a little, a little scattered. Um, I know you guys are gonna say, don't sit on the floor, but even with my back issues, it's actually the most comfortable place for me. Um, and I've had these back issues for a long time, so kind of used to them. So I'm putting WD-40 in the flip cup. I'm not spraying it on here because I don't want droplets. So back to painting, I was, I bought another color called Silver Lake, which is almost a white. And I was gonna paint the bathroom walls, ceiling and bedroom ceiling in that color. I don't know why I thought I'd paint it, the ceiling, but anyhow, it turned out really, really dark. And I was like, God, this is horrible. It's like being in a coffin. Um, so then at 11 last night, I decided I'm gonna open up the other can because that was gonna be the darker can. I opened it and that was the white silver one. I had gone ahead and painted the ceilings in this color. 
it never once occurred to me to look at the other gallon or to think this was supposed to be silvery white. How come it's this dark? I don't know why this never occurred to me. Um, so, you know, I was telling my dad, because him and I are a lot alike, and he's like, yeah, it sounds like something I would do. Oh, I was going to put white in here. So then I had to put two coats of sealing paint to cover up the dark. So I'm going to use some of my Dutch Boy, though, in here. So note to self, don't ever paint your ceiling in a dark gray that looks blue because you will feel like you're in a coffin. So then I woke up at, uh, I'm also going off not a whole lot of sleep. I woke up thinking about paint colors. I woke up at about 2.30, couldn't go back to bed. So I went to my daughter's room to think, to see if maybe I could sleep better there because, you know, she's in college. That didn't work. So then I moved to the couch and then I finally fell asleep. So then what I did to get the color I wanted, this morning I came down here and I mixed up just black and white and came up with the color I wanted and then was then able to um, find a perfect match at the paint store. I'll show you that. This is, this is pretty much, but it, well, that needs to be stirred now, but it's just a, more of a true gray. Gray, it turns out, is a toughie. Because so many have such blue undertones, and then you can get some with brown under, or lavender, or more tan. So, anywho. Hear noises upstairs. I wonder if my husband's home. So I'm just pouring. This is a um, what size cube? This is this eight by eight. That looks way bigger than eight by eight. Yep, it's ten by ten. I had two wrappers. I'm gonna go up and shut that door because maybe it's a little drier. Oh, the door is shut. I don't know what I'm hearing. See right here? It looks like a beautiful gray, doesn't it? But on the wall, and you know, I'm seeing. Oh no, those are just air bubbles. I was like, why are there? But this is not a pretty gray in my bedroom. Because I had this trouble, I think I've told you guys how I painted the whole bottom downstairs of first floor of my house and it's all bluish tones. So I don't really know how this painting will turn out because um, I don't know how this paint you know, it's the Scuff X, so I don't know if there's stuff in it that makes it extra durable. Um, you know, that'll interfere. Um, so if I sell this, so this one will probably be, I'll probably sell it at 50% uh, off just because it'll be like an experiment, so. Oh, uh, look at that. Do you see that ribbon of purple? That? Huh, that must be one of the colors from it. So this is, yeah, so that's why this one, when I sell it, if I don't end up keeping it, um, will be half off because, you know, it's an experiment and I've never worked with it, so I can't guarantee what will happen to it. <laughs> kind of buyer beware. Um, as it is right now, I can see I mixed it really well, but I see um, 
streaks. But where are my paper towels? But once I do the flip and drag, it won't matter anyways. So in here, got um, metallic uh, pewter, ma uh, regular magenta, and my regular white. You know what? Why did I do that? I'm supposed to do this first. Arr. You know what I am going to do, though? Just... I'm going to make a little, little space for me. So I don't know how it'll react to silicone or, you know, anything. Well, I may have to do another one, like another on top of this, depending if the colors get, you know, too covered up. I love magenta. Somebody mentioned that I keep using the same colors over and over. I'm like, I know. <laughs> but I'm loving it. I can't get enough of magenta. So what happened here, this was under, well now it's under this fold. Uh, yeah, I could tell there was a ton of silicone. It was just, it kind of looked like a oil slick. So this, I don't know. You know, I'm, I, I'm, I'm so used to doing my white negative space pores that, of course, this looks weird to me. I cannot... There we go. I need... This just keeps wanting to collect here. Maybe if I break it up. to do another on top of this I am you know what I'm actually going to use this um, deep metallic blue and um, a smidge of white that was more than a smidge. Uh, hit more of that blue. And a little bit of the magenta. Because right now this is, um, it's not doing it for me. It's, it has no uh, wow factor. You know, this gray is almost looking like greenish now to me. I did not re-add silicone. I think I said that, though. Ooh, look at that blue. <gasps> wow. Ooh, I'm going to zoom you in on that blue. Um, let me find some paper towels to wash wipe my hands off. Oops. Oh man, there's a horrible glare. I wonder if I take you over here. 
Oh, it's a little better. Look at that blue. It's so pretty. Maybe I'll keep you over here. Boy, I'm sorry if you've had that glare this whole time. The guy at the paint store, it's the best paint store. They, the guys are awesome there. But, because I was saying something about, oh, what's the name of that paint? And he said, you know, we have this theory that, that you know, Benjamin Moore or wherever, you know, the paint company, that they lock their employees in a room without, without uh, food or sunlight for days. And then when they come out, they have to give us names. Because <laughs> he's like, the names are ridiculous, which is true. I mean, you can't tell this, what did I say this one? This one's Timberwolf. I mean, what, what does that even mean? Oh, this. Silver Lake, which is that other one. That makes sense, you know, because it's like almost a silvery white. So I'm trying to get this. Oh, I forgot you're over there now. Trying to get, there's nothing here. So I'm tilting it and it is zigzagging, but that will clear out. I just gotta get that paint down. Look at this. Isn't that neat? really weird using different paint you know because I've tried different brands of colors but I always stick with the uh, Benjamin Moore but I used well I used two different ceiling paints because I ran out I used more than a gallon so I first bought whatever brand I bought at that paint store which he just said was just a plain old you know flat white and it was like 13 bucks um but then i had bought a benjamin moore ceiling paint and that one was actually really runny and ceiling paint is usually thicker so that it doesn't this is not moving so that it doesn't drip all over you my whole bed the comforter, everything is covered in paint because we're going to get a new one. And so I was like, eh, I'm not even going to protect it. But not realizing or not thinking about that, I still have to sleep on it for a while. Okay, this is amazing. This is irritating me to no end. Let's try and bring it back this way. And I was going to paint the walls tomorrow, but we're having the guy start on our bathroom um, Monday, and I don't want him to scuff. This is like a huge deal for us. We, we have, I mean, we haven't updated anything. We've been here for a long time, and, you know, so uh, this is our first big ever remodel that we've ever done so I'm excited a little nervous but excited this is amazing it looks this I think is gonna be okay so I'm just gonna leave it this looks like um oh there's like just Wisps. I had a, reminds me of a screensaver I used to have on my phone, the wallpaper. But this is really cool. I am going to torch it. Not a whole lot. I'm going to get out the air bubbles because I could see them.
Oh my gosh. Oh, I had no idea that would happen. Ooh, look at this. Oh my goodness, this is way cool. I am happy with this one. Look at those cells. Look at those edges. And there I've got the white lacing. Usually I love it in the colors with the white background, but now I've got it with the white lacing. So there you have it. Um, and as I said, I'm going to put this one up for half off just because it's an experiment. Um, and I'm sure it will be just fine. And it's the Scuff X paint, so I suppose you could, you know, scuff this up as much as you want. <laughs> Maybe it would be extra durable. So, um, thank you so much for watching. Click like and subscribe. And I'm going to go try a bigger size canvas with different colors, but I really like that blue, so I think I'll keep that part in it. Thank you all. Bye.